So, my experience with short form content. Uh, I've been, I started this year trying, experimenting with creating short form content. The reason why I decided to do that was because after pulling my art from webcomic hosting websites and behind my, uh, my own website, I needed a way for people to realize or to notice hey, I have comics, I heard pe- people heard a lot of, said a lot of good things about them, and I want more and more people to come to my website and read the comics that I have um, and support me that through those avenues. So that, that was an idea, and I think I've, like, forever ago, this was during, like, the burst of, like, YouTube Shorts, so, like, February, pre-February, around January, just earlier this year is that when I got the idea of just making shorts or like making Instagram reels or TikTok videos. And I just saw like, I just kept hearing about people talking about huge growth, huge growth potential, huge notoriety, huge everything. Everything was huge. Um, So I decided to like jump on the bandwagon for for the next couple of months and decided to make try my hand in like making edits because like one of my favorite things about like uh looking like looking through uh tiktok is seeing like the edits that people would make um i think it was it was also during the time when i was also looking at like like youtube amvs like like the really cool one like really cool ones i can't really name some off the top of my head because few months just feels like forever ago to me but i remember i wanted to make something like that for my comic at first i tried making handmade edits by myself and that took a little that took a while for me to do because a good edit takes a while to set up and after making edits a couple edits i just decided to like let it go because after posting them they didn't get viewed by the algorithms of tiktok or instagram or youtube and i just like i was bummed out but then i found out about uh i had a lot of backlog content through my visual for through my uh what was it visual motion comic motion comic that's the that's what they call it uh purgatory academy book one motion comic you can look at it through the link in the description so i tried that uh, I would take the parts, chop it into like one, take those five minute videos, chop it into like single minute clips, and then post them, post those as a shorter form content. It did a little bit better, but it didn't get any traction to my website. Third thing that I tried to do was the edit edits again, but I found out about CapCut. So uh, I just decided to like take a, take a, uh, take a while um in see edits that i could work with use them post them on tiktok that didn't work either uh i mean i got the same amount of uh attention uh same amount of love but like very short it's kind of hard to like it's very short uh time type of uh engagement so the third thing that I tried to make was speed paints. The final thing I tried to make was speed paints. And I noticed that it was pretty big on Instagram, but not s- rarely so much on anywhere else. Or so much on anything else. And after all of that, different types of experimenting and posting, I just looked at all the other creators that was doing the same thing. And that were that I would perceive perceive as successful, like the the creators with like tens and thousands, tens and hundreds of thousands of followers, and they're kind of in. I would see them as like the similar boat, just self publishing, trying to like get by by get by through merit. And when I would like dissect certain creators, I noticed that they would be huge on TikTok but like not have as much of a following on Instagram. 
and no following on YouTube. So all of that traffic, all of their following would be on one specific platform, which is fine, which is cool because I'm from like hearing things on the internet around like um, around YouTube and trying to learn how to grow. That's kind of how TikTok's algorithm works. It's faster to give to re give uh, get you to people who may be interested in that content. But I would also look at their Patreons, and usually when they would have huge followings, I didn't notice like that their Patreon they would have like substantially less Patreons, Patreons like three or five, like not not enough to pay like bills, right? And I noticed that. I'm just, I noticed that, like, I'm just going off of what I can see. They probably have, like, some print-on-demand service. They probably have something else. Um, so they probably have something else going on behind the scenes. But from what I saw, I just wasn't convinced that short-form content for what I'm trying to do, trying to, for what I'm trying to do, promote my books through, uh, these bite-sized pieces either i was too late for the boat or it's just not happening for me specifically specifically for me so what i i think i told you about like uh told you about like what i've learned from that so would i do it again if i like went back to the beginning of the year i would focus more on i probably would start like this kind of podcast sooner because this is my third posting of it and i'm still very much uh knocking out the weird stuff i'm trying to do this one take trying to do this trying to get my thoughts and my opinions about what i'm trying to do Try, still trying to like build this brand and help everybody along the way uh along the way with me uh, so this is, so that's, uh, what I'm trying to, so that's what I'm trying to do. Just trying to have more of a personal connection with an audience because I've noticed that short form, short form content, that's not the way right now. That's not the way. So I think that's all I have written so far, written, uh, about this topic. So, and, uh, you can check out my website, uh, on masonomist.com link in the description i also have a double demonstration where you can read the first chapter of purgatory academy book two chapter one and the first 12 pages of Khmer island for free you can sign up to my email list get y'all updated on upcoming merch upcoming uh se upcoming series because anybody who signs up to the newsletter they'll be able to read the first chapter of my newest se series for free so you don't have to like pay whatever amount of money i decide to uh put it under so other than that uh leave a like leave a dislike leave a comment uh stimulate the algorithm let them know that i'm here let them know that i'm uh making content and i appreciate your time i appreciate your time follow me on instagram tiktok subscribe you know the thing anyway uh have a nice one